So Tomb Raider is an upcoming action adventure movie that comes out this Friday. It stars Alicia Vikander as the fabulous Laura Croft. Back on the big screen again this time in 2018. And is this movie good? For a video game movie, it did not suck. And that, that's, that's a big deal for video game movies because they have a horrible track record. Did you see Assassin's Creed? I didn't. And... Uh, glad I did. Movie in general is a very entertaining movie. It's a really fleshed out movie, I gotta say. This movie pretty much Harkinson is back to like you know the rebooted Tomb Raider gang. And Laura Croft is a really fleshed out character. She really has layers to her character like that. And I did like her. At least she played a really good role as Laura Croft. You know, she really looks the part too. Now I really bought her as Laura Croft and she just kicked ass. And as far as the movie goes in general, it's really pretty well paced, well structured ish movie. It's got flaws for sure, because it's a video game movie. It's gonna have flaws. Uh, but nonetheless, still entertaining as Shit. That being said, look at the protocols. I believe that Tomb Raider comes out this Friday. I think you should take a chance to go see this movie. Go support this movie. Here's why. From the ending of the movie, I'm gonna say, like I say, Alicia Vikander as Laura Croft. She she killed it. I liked her. Laura Croft is really grounded in reality. She's Laura Croft that's not like, oh yeah, she's just out the gate kick ass and shit. No, she's headstrong. She's flawed. You know, she's dealing with you know the events of her father and missing everything she's got to go fight that she's still dealing with that deep down you now she's got some issues and everything she's a real broken and damaged character and i like that and the movie really does explore her growth and everything so when she becomes the laura croft that you know it's like yeah she earned it it was believable and i like that shit applying the movie like i said the movie kicks off pretty much showed that yeah we have laura croft you know she's awesome she's, she's awesome her father has gone missing and through a series of events she ends up finding out that yeah her father went to this inhabitable island that's seen the Dead Sea of Japan or whatever to find some type of curse or something and now she's like I gotta see if my father's alive so she goes find her father to do some tomb raiding and shit like that then you have thousand year old curses and you know traps and shit and shenanigans and thus she's raiding some tombs so there you go the easy straightforward plot if you like never know anything about tomb or raider you can watch the movie and be like oh, pff, I got the plot so good going on that uh, good for a uh, common movie folk I heard the movie I'm gonna say instantly off the bat the action scenes are really amazing. They're very gripping. I like that shit. Good from the stuff you see in the trailer with stuff, her jumping off a of plane, shit like that, her swinging around through the forest, stuff like that. It's as good in the movie as you saw in the trailer. But I'll play in the tr movie, it's a little bit more enhanced because you have movie theater quality and stuff. But like going through the motions, going through the action stuff like that, you really feel it. You really like, mmm, that's some good shit. Good sound effects. Right, the movie kicks off in an action scene too, so that's also a good thing too. If you're an action junkie, you'll be like, ah, this is some good stuff with a hot chick. I'm on board. Also has a good set design too, and it's realm and theme of a true Tomb Raider game. It's really amazing to look at. Now, there are a lot of stabbling shots, a lot of shots of, like, the island and other shots like that. I was just like, wow, this is, like, really breathtaking. I like that shit. Good scenery stuff. That remind me of Uncharted. I like that stuff. You ever play Uncharted, just, like, kind of just watching stuff happen? You're like, oh, that looks beautiful, even though the world's burning down. Looks beautiful. Not a Tomb Raider movie or a Tomb Raider game without some puzzles and shit like that. And the puzzles are in it and the traps are in it too. So they're like, ah, oh, she's in danger, but she's gonna figure it out. Oh, that couldn't be me because I pl play the game and I'm like, yeah, my Laura Croft would have died five times if I didn't hit that quick time event just enough and now she's dead. And we can do the cons of the movie I'm gonna say. First of all, one of the main cons I'm gonna say is that the supporting characters in the movie, very forgettable. But like that, I get the main villain's goal in this movie, but at the same time, when I walk out of it, I'm just like, oh, he was just, you know, regular villain, whatever. <laughs> kind of forgettable, like Laura, she was good. Alicia, she was good as Laura. Everybody else around her was just like, it's, they're just in the background, it's all about her. But it is predictable in some parts like that. And like I said, you have to suspend your disbelief in some scenes a bit because you gotta step back and be like, it is a movie movie based off a video game there are things that are happening in the movie that i'm just like are you sure she's not a video game character because i'm pretty sure she'd be dead on certain parts like that and i'm pretty sure there's some things that will happen in the movie that i'm like uh she's mm. in my disbelief i'll have a better time with it but at the end of the day we don't have any other concept about the movie it's a pretty functional action movie for mark or well, this happens to also be a video game movie based off of laura croft one of the uh, pioneers of playstation action adventure game uh, alicia did a really good job with laura croft i did like her at that the action in the movie were really good. I believe you're a fan of the Tomb Raider games, both the original and like the rebooted version. I think you'll have a good time with this movie. You'll be, be able to appreciate all the Easter eggs, all the nods to the game and everything like that. Now, if you're a fan of the movie in general, you'll be able to watch it and be like, oh, it's a pretty good action movie that I'm very entertained with while watching. It's got some flaws, but I'm entertained. That's all I want to do when I see a movie, is be entertained. With that being said, I want to easily say that Tomb Raider is a 7 out of 10, which is worth seeing at matinee. So, guys, subscribe. Until next time. Here they go.